Hi all, welcome back to Guide to Solid X. Today we are going to have a go at modelling a tennis ball. It's just something a little bit fun that I've been meaning to try for a little bit now. Uh, so we're going to have a go at modelling this. Um, if you're new to the channel, there you'll see that there's quite a lot of educational things on the channel in terms of how to develop individual skills. Um, but every now and again, I like to chuck something in that's a little bit more fun. So this is one of them little bit more fun activities uh, in terms of actually modelling something. Um, hope you enjoy this. Let's dive straight into it. Okay, let's start looking at modelling the ball then. So on the front plane, I'm going to create a sketch. And I am going to create two circles from the centre of my origin there. And they are going to be the outside circle is going to be 2.7 inch. Try that again. 2.7 inch. We'll, put, we'll set that as the size. Now it'll show me the value in millimeters because I've got my unit set to millimeters. But just because they're set to millimeters doesn't mean I can't enter values in inches. As long as I add the units after, that's fine. Um, now the inside circle is going to be 4 millimeters. Um, offset to that. So get a um, dimension line and then click the inner circle and click the outer circle and set that at 4 mil, like so. So I've got that depth of my ball, leaving me with a hollow inner. Um, I am just going to add a center line through the center of these two circles, like so. And I just want to close off the top. Zoom in so you can see. Close off the top there. And repeat the same at the bottom. All I've done there is just hit enter and it repeats the last um, tool selected. So in that case, this the line tool. So I've closed off the top and the bottom there. And I'm just going to trim away my excess circle that I don't want. So I'm going to trim away this half. Leaving me with the, the semicircle shape there. Okay, now I've got that around the center line. So if I go to features and go to revolve, I can revolve that around the center line like so. So just come up with a preview. If I'm happy with it, it's going 360 blind all the way around. So I'm happy with that. So I can tick there. And it'll give me the solid model of that. Now, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch the shape of where the rubber cutout goes. So that sort of U shape. If I go to my top view and pick the top plane and sketch on that top plane, I'm going to create this shape. So I'm going to draw a circle. Now my circle here is going to be a radius of 50, like so. And I'm going to draw a line coming down here to the edge. And another one on the other side as well, from there down to the edge, like so. Now, this is showing that it's not fully defined, so I'm just going to click there and click there, and make them horizontal, a vertical relationship, sorry, so that they are in line with each other. Now, I only want this U shape. I don't want this end bit of the circle, so I'm just going to trim that off. So trim, I'm going to use trim to closest, and just trim that excess off like so, leaving me with that shape there. Now, that's a 2D shape, so if I turn the, draw, if I turn the model, you'll see there, that's a 2D shape in the center. What I want is that U shape to be around the top and the bottom. So I want to get it onto the surface of this. So to get it on the surface of this, I'm going to go to Features, and I'm going to go to Curves, and I'm going to Split Line. Now what that will allow me to do is if I use the Projection option here, I can project this sketch onto, if I, if I click in the second box there, the surface of this circle. Okay. And if I tick there, like so, it'll go both sides up and down, but because of where it connects, it will also follow around the outside 
like so. So I've got that general sketch shape that we get on a tennis ball. Now, at the moment, all that is is a projection onto here. Um, I can't actually model really very well with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that into a sketch itself on the surface of the model. So I do that by um, creating a sketch, but I'm not going to create in a plane this time. I'm going to drop down my sketch option and I'm going to use a 3D sketch. Okay. Now, if I click on them projected lines, like so, or them projections, what I can do with them is convert entities. And what that does, it converts an edge or a projection or sort of an outline of a shape into a sketch profile. So if I click that, you'll now see I get the sketch profile of that shape all the way around the outside of the model. Okay, I'm gonna come out of that sketch there. Now what that's gonna allow me to do is use that sketch to sweep a shape or a sweep a cut around. So, I, but I need to create a shape that I wanna cut out of it. So I'm gonna go for a side view, or the front view in this case. So I'm gonna go to the front view of the model and I'm gonna sketch on that front view. And I'm gonna create a slot, a straight slot shape for the cutout for the groove all around the tennis ball. So if I draw there and there, and drag that out a little bit, that will give me the general shape that I want, but not the size. So if I click the center point of that and click the line that I created, I'm gonna pierce that center point to that line. Now to make sure that it follows the curvature correctly, I wanna make this line here tangential to the outside of my sphere, like so. Okay, now I can set the sizes to this. So I'm going to go across 0.75 and they give it a diameter or a radius of um, one look. Let's go one, like so. Okay. And with that, I'm going to cut that out following that, s that um, sh sketch that I created a second ago. So if we go to Features, and it's like exit the sketch we're in, I'll then get the option to do a Sweep Cut. So I'm going to use Sweep Cut. It's picked up that profile because I still had it highlighted. So that's the profile that I want to sweep. And then the path that I want to sweep along is this line here. Okay. And it should follow that path all the way around back to the beginning because the actual sketch itself is linked all the way around. So if I tick there, and you can see now that I've got that cut out into um, uh, the ball shape. So what I'm going to do is select that cut out there and I'm going to change the appearance of it. Because in a tennis ball, this bit is generally a white rubber. So let's make it a white rubber. Try that again. Appearance. Cut. So we're going to turn that into a white rubber. So my appearance is up here. I'm going to drop down my appearances. I'm going to go to rubber. Click on that. And it'll give me different options. So I can have a matte, a gloss, or a textured. I'm going to go for a matte rubber. But I don't want it in sort of a grey black. I want it in white. So over on this side, I can change the colour of it. So click on there. So this option gives me the texture, and then this option over here can give me the colors. So if I tick on that now, you'll see it's changed to sort of a whitey color. You'll see it better if I change this so that we go to a shaded shape. And you see now I've got that white color in there. Okay. Now the outside face is here, that one and that one. I want to be the green texture of the tennis ball. So again, I'm going to edit the appearance on them. So I can click on the actual faces themselves rather than clicking on the model in here. And this time I'm going to edit the face. 
and if I come down and again I'm going to change from rubber but I'm going to use a fabric this time so let's go to fabric I'm going to drop down fabric and use a cloth and if I go right down to the bottom I've got a burlap sh uh, sort of texture now that's a really nice texture for a tennis ball but it's the wrong colour so let's get a colour that's more appropriate there we go so like a green colour I'm going to tick there, and we should get that lovely green colour of our tennis ball that we are after. Okay. So once we've got that green colour of our tennis ball, we can then go into um, uh, actually creating a um, rendered view of this model. So it actually looks like the real product. So if I go into uh, my SolidWorks add-ins here at the top, and I can go to Photo View 360, that will add in the render option. Okay. So if I go to Tools here, and I go to Final Render, up in the up top option here. Now, I'm going to click on this. It's going to give me some options. And as soon as I click one of these options, it will start the render process. So for the sake of this, I'm going to continue without a camera or perspective. But you can add a camera in or perspective. So I'll do a tutorial based around how we do renders and how we add cameras in and things. Um, but for this, for a quick one, I'm just going to use continue without a perspective. Now, this will take a minute or two. You'll see in a second a, a new screen will pop up. Um, what I am going to do, rather than just you watching this take a, it'll take a while to render. I am going to um, uh, leave it to render and I'm going to show you the finished outcome in one moment. So I'll leave you there and I will be back in one minute to show you the outcome. Okay, and then from our final render, this is the outcome that we get. So we get a good tennis ball looking colour with the texture applied there, and then our groove in here with the polymer out, uh, the rubber sort of inlay, with the white rubber inlay. Um, so that's just taking you through a um, full model of a tennis ball. Uh, now this render that we've created will be varying in time depending on how quick your processor is, so I have just skipped onto here, um, and that's why you'll see a bit of a time jump. I'm not going through the full render process because it might take a few minutes to actually get to this point. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe. Um, if you're currently watch, if you're a regular watcher please give us a big thumbs up if you're enjoying the content and um, I will see you all again soon in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye for now.